Hello everybody and welcome to another Anime First Look. So I mentioned I'd be doing a video on this one in my Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. And like I said there, I've heard plenty of good things about it. It's been made by the same team who did Cowboy Bebop. And that anime is fucking awesome. So, as you can tell, I got excited. I'll be basing this off just the first episode. Kind of different, I usually base it off maybe like the second two, first two episodes or first three episodes. But this one's a bit shorter, so that's what I'm going with. How did it fare? Let's find out. First, I want to say that Adult Swim airs this is one of their animes, and they usually show good stuff. Just a little side note. Uh, first off, I like the opening. It looks like some kind of drug trip, having a bit of 70s or 80s feel, and I find it enjoyably short. Just like Penny and Stockings opening. I like it. I wouldn't put it on my top 10 favorite anime openings, but I think it's nice. I like it. I'm liking the comedy. It feels a lot like Sergeant Frog being self-aware, and it also feels kind of slower and more developed, and even though I prefer Sergeant Frog's comedy, this one still sparks with me, and I find myself laughing pretty often. It can also be a bit slower, though, but overall, like I said, it's great comedy. The plot is pretty cool. It's basically about a guy in space who fights aliens and hunts aliens in space, and he's a dandy guy, a space dandy guy. Did I mention it's in space? SPACE! Yeah, I like space. <laughs> I guess that's why I enjoy Dragonaut. Anyway, it follows the adventures of Space Dandy and his crew. Uh, you know, traveling around and basically discovering aliens and getting money for it. Basic idea, but enjoyable. Woven in with some other events and such. I like it. I'll talk about the main characters. Uh, space Dandy is awesome. He's such an enjoyable f character. He's pretty relaxed and carefree, preferring to go with the flow, kind of spouting out... Uh, uh, cheesy lines, but also really funny. Kind, kind of like um, a less developed Kamina, I guess. Well, at least with the lines that go. Kamina is definitely a much better talker, but they both have that kind of feel to them, where they like to hear themselves. <laughs> and he's actually kind of a bit of an anti-hero in a way, because he's kind of selfish. And uh, a bit incompetent at his job, but I, I think he's still funny. Uh, ha he also has a big love for women, and a fetish for their butts. So, he's an ass man. He's really funny, and I might just put him on my favorite anime guys list. Just maybe, I don't know. QT is easily the most responsible member of the crew. Uh, I hear he does a lot of cooking and cleaning, and he does more of the work, and he's smarter. He's also pretty serious, kind of, so he's, he's a fun character, too. Meow is carefree like Danny, but he, he seems lazier, and he, 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 he sounds like he wants to help, but he doesn't. He's also a bit of a pervert. Pervert characters are pretty enjoyable. So I, I like these characters. They're fun. I'm really liking the English dub. I think the voices are really good. Ian Sinclair voices Dandy, and he does a great job giving the right feel for the character. Allison Victorin uh, voices QT, and she also does a good job as well. Meow is voiced by Joel McDonald, and I think he also does great. The other voices all fit and are great as well, so overall, it's great. <laughs> Simple as that. I've heard the English script leaves out important information, but I still get the experience I want. The music is awesome! It has such a positive, energetic feel to it. it it's kind of cheesy, too, but I, I, I like it! It has this feel that almost dates itself, but at the same time makes it timeless. I don't really know how it just feels like that that way to me. So it's really good, and I enjoy it. I love it. The animation is great, having a nice art style and working with the humor and uh, changing uh, to like more regular anime talk or um, going to, like, very free-flowing Naruto kind of thing, or, um, it, it just, it it feels it's to the right extent. It, it, it does good. Overall, I'm really enjoying Space Dandy. I'd probably put it in my top 12 list. I might actually make it a top 13 list. I don't know. It's, it's a lot of fun. I definitely recommend it. It's very fun, and very enjoyable, and very likable. I'm loving it. I cannot wait for more. <laughs> I really recommend it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Also, make sure to check out my supporters, all their great stuff, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, suckers.